Hi guys, <laughs> how are you all doing? I know you're doing great. I know. And some of you that are not doing great, receive your healings. Amen. So before I continue this video, I want to give a shout out to all the medical professionals out there. If you know that you are a medical professional, a very big shout out to you. I am giving you your flowers. Okay. Now I am prioritizing the nurses. Ta -da! <laughs> shout out to all the nurses all over the world. Do you know why I'm giving them a special shout out? Because on this page, nurses are following me, a lot of nurses. Both the kind-hearted nurses and the bad nurses. <laughs> and the very, very, very bad nurses. <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> because they saw my name, Nurse Glory. And apart from nurses following me, a lot of people are following me thinking I'm a nurse. So they were like, okay, let them follow her. They will be getting health-ish, um, health updates, blah, blah, blah. You guys are welcome, welcome. Okay. So, why am I making this video? I have been seeing so many comments from people, you know. Every day I'm getting new, new followers. Some people cannot go and watch previous videos. And then they are asking questions. So when they ask questions, is she a real nurse? Why is she not going to work? Why isn't she practicing? Why isn't she that? Why isn't she that? And I expect my old followers to um, reply them. But after they reply, those people still make the same comments again, asking, is she re a real nurse? She's not a real nurse. And how come we've never seen her work in the hospital? We've never seen her going to the hospital to work. <laughs> and she's always on social media, 247. Mm. And that is why I am making this video as you're listening may you be blessed amen did i quit my job as a nurse did i tell you that i'm quitting my job as a nurse did i tell you let me give you a very short story why i am not practicing nursing yet i have shared this countless times my old followers i have shared this right Okay, okay. So guys, I met my husband in the Philippines when I was um, in third year nursing. So when we started dating, because we met online, and you guys know I had problem paying my fees. So this guy, after we came, knew each other, he helped me to pay my school fees and um, I was preparing for graduation and while preparing for graduation I was making inquiries to see if I can take the nursing exams but unfortunately I could not take the exam because I am not Filipino so I said okay I will go to Nigeria and take the nursing board exam which will make me to stay a year and six months okay so i was explaining to my newly wedded husband that after graduation i have to travel to nigeria to get um my nursing licensure exam to practice as a nurse and then he's like no 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 he cannot do long distance relationship again he doesn't want to do long distance relationship then because the one we did in the philippines almost made us to end Every day, I'm like, okay, if he's not going to work, everybody should go their own way. So, 
I spoke to my few friends that were very close to me then, what I was going through, even with my mom. And the three of them, my mom and my two friends, and of course my sister included, all said, sis, um, maybe this guy will think you want to run away after he has paid your school fees, and maybe he will think that this marriage you guys had was nothing, because you know, most African ladies, they do like that. So, um, I think it's better for you to go to Kuwait and meet him and stay with him for some time so that you guys will get to know each other since you guys met online. So, when he knows who you are very, very well, I think he will be so free with you so that you can go around and do whatever you want to do because now he doesn't know you and you don't know him. Okay? I was like, okay, let me listen to my friends and my sister and my mom. I told him, okay, book me a ticket to come to my, I said Nigeria, to come to um, Kuwait. And he was very happy. He booked me a ticket. After my papers was done, I came to Kuwait, right? We stayed. While staying, I'm like very bored at home when he goes to work. I cannot do anything. I just eat, watch movie, and sleep. That is what I do whenever he goes to work. So when he came back, I told him I want to go look for some um, nursing jobs, maybe nursing assistants, you know, since I'm a fresh graduate. So I went to church on Sunday. I met a, a Sierra Leone lady in the church. She's working as a nurse in one of the hospitals, not really far from where I'm living and she asked me to come there so i was very happy i did my cv and i came there they interviewed me i got all their interview correctly but that hospital filipinos are more there so do, do you know the reason why i did not get a job there because i told them i just want to be doing nothing um, i just want to be a a helper you know and to get some experience while staying here for some time then i can go to nigeria and get my licensure exam they said no problem you can be working as a nursing assistant but you have to pay um some money to us so that we can accept you because normally we only accept people that have stayed here over one year I said, but there's a law here in Kuwait that once you have a university degree, you are exempted. They said, eh, but since you want to work with us, you need to pay some certain amount of money. I said, okay. Guys, they said, if you cannot pay, then we can remove it from your salary. And then I said, how much are we talking about? They said 300 KD. So those that live in Kuwait, you can check 300 KD to dollars. And do you know how much I'm going to be paid? I don't know. As a nursing assistant, I don't know. Okay, this job you people want to give me is, is um, um, accommodation among, no. Is feeding fee among, no. Is transportation fee among, no. And you still want to collect money from my money just to get me a job. My mom, I went home. My husband said, no, 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 no. These people saw that you are new and they are trying to get advantage of you. I know all the laws in, in Kuwait. I know all the laws. Go back to them and tell them that your husband knows all the laws. They should not play you. This and that, blah, blah, blah. I went there the next day. They said they will call me. After telling them what my husband said. So they will come they never did my husband said and why do i want to accept those kind of joy job am i so desperate hmm? that even if um i want to get that job okay just assume i'm not living with him where will i sleep how will i feed transportation uncle because in kuwait there should be all these things should be covered and they, they are not even talking about um, transferring your family visa to work visa because I'm under my husband's visa. They're not even thinking about transferring your visa to work visa. Don't you know that 
if any problem happens, he's in trouble because he allowed me to work with family visa and they should have transferred it to work visa. My husband now said, leave that job because these people are trying to um, use you. So I said, okay, what next? Because me, I don't like staying at home. He now said, go to my laptop. There is a TEFL course. They're going to take English course. After taking it, they'll give you a certificate. With that certificate, you can use it to get into this job online and offline. I said, okay. I was so determined, guys. I took the course. It took me four months or six months, I don't know, to finish the course. And I scored 85%. I was issued a certificate. So with that certificate, I started looking for... Um, I started looking for English teaching job. I searched, I searched, I searched. I searched and I finally found English teaching job in a nursery school. The, I started my work, the children loves me, everybody likes me, but some teachers want to take advantage of me. You know me, I know they fear anybody. <laughs> when you are trying to stand for your rights, they'll start discriminating you or call you rude. But I am feeling on top of the world because I have my husband, you, know, you understand? <laughs> when I see people misbehaving, I'll be laughing at them. You don't know who I'm married to. <laughs> so, um, the first day of work, I got paid very well. Second day of work, I got paid. Second month, I got paid. Third month, they did not pay me. My husband called them, why are you not paying my wife? They say, well, you have to pay my wife now. How do you expect her to, to pay rent? Do this. They you now called me. I collected my money. And then they told me to stop working. <laughs> I stopped. And then I started looking for another job. I got another job in another school. This Our agreement was they will be paying me at the end of each day. So I started a job. They said you we will close so so time, but I have to wait until parents come and get the kids. It was not in our agreement. And after that day, they refused to pay me. They said they will pay me monthly, that they are trying to save the money. So I cannot save my money for myself. I tried to talk to so many people to give me the money. They refused. So I called my husband and said they refused to give me the money. He said, go and look for the um, principal or the uh, headmaster, whatever, school manager. Go and look for them and give them the phone. I went to the office. I gave them the phone. He said, if you don't want me to come minister of education, you pay my wife now. <laughs> that was not your agreement. And besides, she's not working with um, working visa. Then uh, after talking, talking, they said, okay, okay, okay. She's going to get her money now. And then they paid me. And I got an husband, I said, you know what? Stop working for those people. Just stay at home. I'll take care of you. My salary will be enough for us. Guys, I'm an African woman. My mother is a hustler. <laughs> my mother is a hustler. So I have my mother's blood in me. I cannot sit down one place and be waiting for a man to be giving me 10 naira. If I need money, I will ask my husband to give me. If I want to buy a card, honey, give me money. I know he's the one to take care of me, but guys, I want to be independent too. You know, you can actually be both, both dependent and independent. I also want to be independent, financial wise. I'm not praying for anything to happen. Because guys, if anything happens, where will I start? If anything happens in the marriage, where will I start? So I have to, you know, get ready for rainy days. So... I have a YouTube channel that I abandoned in the Philippines. So I started using it now. As time goes on, I became pregnant. You know, I was making content. I was sharing all my experiences of what I went through in the Philippines, why I left Nigeria to go study in the Philippines, how I met my husband in the Philippines, everything. It was not easy when I started it all. But God, in His infinite mercy, my channel blew. Hey! Initially, I was telling my husband to join me and make content. He said, no, 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 I'm a very shy person. I'm a private person. I don't want to put my life on social media. I said, well, 
we will only tell people what we want them to know you say eh i don't want them to know anything about me <laughs> and you say you too don't do this social media of a thing i said please leave me alone let me do my thing you say you don't want to join me abby let me do my thing and then as i was going on i said join me yo this social media is paying he said those people that are watching are they making money i said yes now they're making money he said how much i said they will start paying you from 100 dollars upward if i make you 100 dollars in a month in this house instead of watching tv and eating and eh? is it not something <laughs> he said they will not give you i said let's try first he said good luck i was making my videos i was making my videos Woo! then i was very serious with youtube and then when i first got my first paycheck before i got my first paycheck my money was piling i'll be telling him see look at the money i made look at the money i was showing him from beginning to the end and he said when would they pay i said 21st of um, every month that is when they would pay he said eh, let's wait let them pay first so then um, I don't have bank account. I use my husband's bank account to put in my AdSense. And I was out having fun with my Kenyan friend, Denise, in Kuwait. And my husband called me and said, Hello? $2,000 entered my bank account from Google AdSense. Obi, it's true. These two people are paying you know? I don't know when I screamed. My friend asked me what happened. I said, YouTube paid me. He said, Jesus, really? Girlfriend, congratulations. So I ordered something for us and we ate. I came home. My husband started popping champagne. He was very happy. He was so proud of me. The next day, this man went out and bought me camera, bought me <laughs> ring light. And now what I'm using right now is iPhone. He got me iPhone to support me. He said, damn, girl, you're so stubborn. You don't give up. I said, well, if I if I don't support you, who will? Because, listen, honey, I know you can support me with your salary, but I want to support you too. I have families in Nigeria. Eh? They don't have anybody helping them. Your salary will not be enough for me and them too. And if only you is providing all the time, there will be problem in this, our marriage. Because one day you will get stressed and depressed and cranky right so i don't want that to be a problem that is why i started this now you understand why i'm doing this so since then if i want to make video this man will join me he will join me yo and then i never showed my baby when i was pregnant and then when i i, I delivered i shared my baby's video on, on facebook and that video went viral that was how i started using facebook and since then god has been so good from Kuwait. Kuwait is not monetized for Facebook, so we came to Dubai. And since then, it wasn't easy, but I don't give up, guys. One thing about me is not giving up, and I'll be smiling while going through my struggle. You understand? But at the end of the day, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. So many content creators here will tell you guys that this is a legit job. This is better than pushing drugs this is better than doing illegal activities and you are telling me that you've never seen me going to work you've never seen me practicing as a nurse blah 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 but i'm living a luxurious lifestyle as long as i'm not coming to your house to beg you for food why are you complaining as long as i'm not coming to your house to beg you to give me money to to pay my rent why are you complaining you people said you made me right Go and make yourself to stop making me. Make yourself. Make your families. Yes. If I was not stubborn and keep pushing myself, putting myself on that social media, would you have seen me? So many people want to do what I'm doing, but they are shy. They don't know what people will say to them. Ah, people will do this. People. people. Because when God announced you, even people who don't know you will know you. Now look at my husband bragging about me, telling his whole community about me. And look at you, congratulating me. Isn't it? I did not quit my nursing job. Oh. It's just that all these things made me not to think about it seriously. And now, 
if i'm done with all the goals i have in my hands i will go back to my nursing because i love my nursing job so people should quit saying that i quit my nursing job because if i quit i will tell you people should stop flying rumors it's not good you understand yeah so any question Eh? Those of you that want to start content creation, let me give you a, a gist. You know, before Facebook said it's 10,000 followers, but now it's 5,000. Before they say 600,000, now it's 60,000. So if you want to join me and do what I'm doing, do it. This is a side hustle that can turn to main hustle. Eh? Uh -huh. The way you are doing your nursing job, your professional job, is the same way I'm doing my own job. Yes. If anything happens tomorrow, I still have my certificate. You got that girl? Mm -hmm. so I'll be guided accordingly I love nursing and we always love nursing but I love the fact that I'm spending more time with my family and uh, sharing this positive vibes with you people Claro any question thank you so much for watching